Hi, I'm Chuck Fast. Welcome to the world of motorsports. Hey, gearheads. It's the final day here at the SEMA show. So we're going to throw something in for you low riders. This one here is sitting right on the carpet. All right, guys, what kind of car is this? This creation is sitting over in the kicker booth. So you can imagine there's some sound effects installed in this one. So there you go, compadres. There it is. Getting back to these steely looking flat paint jobs. Here's the diode dynamics. Okay guys, pay attention. These are the trends. Mopar guys, we're really gonna wig you out now. Yeah, man. Yeah, it says Hemi. <laughs> Anybody ready for the Baja? Alright gearheads, now this one's got me wondering, I have not watched Furious 7, but is this the Furious 7 Charger? If it is, I've heard about it. It might have an LS engine under the hood. That's hooked to. Really? Oops. Your mama told you to stop hot rodding that hot rod Lincoln. guys. Now this is the Foos Pantera. Yeah. We met before at Portland Speedway back when there used to be one. <laughs> Dig these stripes, huh? They go all the way from the lip right up the grill, right across the nose, and over and down and up the firewall, and under the hood, and over the hood, and over the roof. The only place they don't go is across the dash. Now, we built a Vega many years ago, and we actually put the stripes across the dash, too. That was the Pro Speed Avenger back in 1984. Alright guys, we have bling, bling, and more bling. <laughs> like, yeah, that's something else. It's a lot of work there. She likes it. Look at this here. Is that wild, guys? Alright guys, this SS is a resto mod. This is over at Trim Parts. Shows you what you can do. You can build one of these things from the ground up, brand new. New body, everything if you want. Oh yeah. 
bitching. 57. I mean, basically, it's a street legal pro mod. I mean, everything's set up. It's a NHRA certified car that can uh, run NHRA events, and it's also street legal. Pulls a trailer. Okay, guys, surf's up. It's such a cute little display. Just had to throw it in for you. And there's their picnic table right there. All right, for all you Mazda fanatics, we're gonna throw this one up for you. Okay, guys, here we go. It's called Vintage Flats. There you have it. And here you have it. A bright red flat. Look at the texture on this engine. Whatever that engine is. Wizards. This gearhead remembers a wizard's metal polish from way back. Okay guys, here we go with a wild looking early Stang. Good times in Las Vegas. Alright, looks like a 1967 Camaro here. We like the looks of that motor. Genuine big block Chevrolet. Remember the 427 big block, guys? Before LS's came onto the scene? Yep, guys and gals, another flat paint job. An orange one, this time on a race car. We're telling you, it's coming. Be ready. This one will crush you. All right, guys, we're over here in the Red Cat booth, and it looks like it's time to build a bitchin' bike. Chevelle guys, SS Super Sport. Wait, what? Okay. All right, well, how about you custom shopper dudes? Check this out. All right, back to the Chevelle. Little distraction there. After all, it is Las Vegas. Looks like around a 70 or so. It's got the cal induction. Yes, indeed. 70 Chevelle SS is owned by Mark Reister, Littleton, Colorado. Wouldn't you like to cruise in that? Down to Las Vegas. Oh, yeah. Hey, we got ourselves a fish here. Fish on! Hey, anybody remember the 392 Hemis? Maybe you thought you'd never see them come back, huh? Oh yeah, it's a 70 Cuda. It's by Bear Customs. Compliments of the Sherwin-Williams booth. And we have used that product on the Flying Dutchman. All right, you Ford guys. You better be happy about this. All right, gearheads, let's roll your ride into a bitchin' spray booth. Sure beats a driveway, eh? Okay, now here's a different take on Pro Street. What do you think, guys? What do we got in here? Oh, yeah, well, looks like we have a Hemi with fast fuel injection. 
Yeah, it's a Henry J. You guys know that, don't you? Check it out on the interior, huh? What do you think of that dash? Boy, this looks like some fun on the street, eh? All right, there's the back. You could throw a couple kids back there anyway, right? Looks like an almost legal cage, so you could have some fun at the drag strip. Alrighty, this Stang is the Axel Electronics Inc. car. But boy, talk about a kaleidoscope of color, huh? Oh yeah. Alright, 69 guys. Here's one out front. This one's got a 4 inch cow hood. And it comes with some wild wheels. I know not all of you are into that, but they're kind of growing on me. I realize there are some practicality concerns about them. But hey, this is where it's at, down in Las Vegas. Yep, it's an early Impala, and it is smooth. Yeah, this bad boy is a product of Hills Hot Rods. That guy. Now we've tripped across a pitching Ford here. Looks like about a 56. Check this out. Oh boy. It's like a big old sock motor underneath there. Looks like they're calling it the GT55. Check it out, Ford guys. Check out the headlights. Everybody's got that. Check out that black paint, huh? Got the big wheels. Got the real comfy interior for everybody in front and everybody in the back. Okay, Gearheads, what do you think? We got ourselves an early Corvette. Some definite late model stuff on it. See the valve covers? Got some wires going right inside of them there. Yeah, she's a fuel injected LS unit, no doubt. She's a shiny white car with a flat black inset. And yes, big wheels. I know it, I know it. It's the trend, it's coming, it's here. Let's face it guys, nice color coordinated interior. I'm liking that. I figure most of you fellows know this guy's name. NASCAR and road course alike. Yeah, he's got a school. It's the Black Ops in the spider booth. And what's that little thing there? We're talking blower drive service, gents. Girls, who do you love? <laughs> yes! Right on. <laughs> okay, gearheads, we're over here with the McMahon. Mechman.com. Power. Checking this baby out. Yeah, it's another drag leaf car. You want a handy place to store all your cleanup gear in the show? Your heads? You build yourself a ride like this. <laughs> Gearheads. 
says it says media center, it says new product. And I'm trying to win this contest thing. You're trying to win a contest? Yeah, I'm going to get down. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you look like you're really fighting it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, serve and protect. Oh, yeah. We've been hearing about how you guys are doing it down in New Mexico. Guys, I'm telling you, the Upper South Hall is a trucker's dream. I mean... They are everywhere. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Sure, take care, you too. Hi. Could you make one out to my buddy Ron's? A, Ron? Just put Ron, where are you? Perfect. Good to see you, gearheads. <laughs> Mercy, I'm hurting my eyes. All right, now this Chevy truck, it got a couple good things going for it right off the bat. It's double blown, and it's a big block. This bad boy here is called the Quadzilla 68 Chevy C10. Somebody built themselves a petty car. If you're a good boy, maybe your daddy will get you one of these. Watch out, one will be coming near you. Oldsmobile. What do you think of that, huh, guys? Check this bad boy out. We'll just qualify as badass. Check the radiator over there. It's the American Racing Door Slammer. Now let's get that big bad hood and button this baby up and get her on out to SEMA Ignited. Guys, SEMA Ignited is coming up. The world's biggest car party is about to happen here in Las Vegas when this SEMA show closes down here Friday afternoon and they all roll across the street for a big party. And we're gonna be there, and so are you, if you watch the vid. Remember, gearheads, share and share alike. We can be the first to see the good times on the interwebs we don't have to wait for them TV shows. And this shot is for Gracie. Grace Chabot up there in Canada. The Trans Am girl. Hi girls. Hey, can you say hi to the gearheads for me out there? The ones that didn't make it? <laughs> Thank you. We're wanting to give you pro touring guys a little love over here, Gearheads World. Now here's the 68. It's gonna be out there tearing up the pavement. It's got a way cool hood arrangement here with a flat carbon fiber look to it. But this car is all business. Everything on it is there for a reason, to compete. Because this is what a lot of muscle car guy gearheads are doing around the nation now. And it's going to be big on Saturday when they all cut loose over at Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the Optima event. going on. 
on over here outside the convention center. Do with them, mister.